Creations weekend art club. This weekend we are going to be creating our very own spooky starry night inspired by the artist Vincent Van Gogh. So let's get started. Okay, so today our aim is to create a spooky starry night scene inspired by the artist Vincent Van Gogh. And here's some examples of what you can create today. So Vincent Van Gogh was a Dutch artist who painted, loved to paint portraits and the landscape around him. He's really famous for using bright colours and bold brush strokes in his work. He would often go out into the landscape and south of France and he would try and capture the movement that was happening on the landscape. So when the wind was blowing through the trees or the clouds, he would try and capture that on his work. That is often why you could see lots of brush strokes in his work because he was working really quickly. And here is one of an example of one of his most famous works, Starry Night. You can see in the close up here how thick his brush strokes are. And we're going to be use that idea today in our very own spooky Starry Night. So for this, you can either use um, pencil and colour pencil, or if you have access to paint, you can use paint. And today I'm going to show you how to use paint and oil pastels to create your very own scene. So let's have a go. Okay, so as I said, to create our scene, you can use colour pencils, you can use paint. And today I'm going to show you how to use paint and oil pastels for a magic trick. Okay, so here's an example of our scene. On the PowerPoint attached, there is also examples of haunted house that you can have a little look at for inspiration. So first of all, we're going to start off with creating our drawn scene. So you're going to start off with um, your landscape. So to do that, I'm just going to create a very light, hilly landscape. Okay, that runs right across your page. And then we're going to create our crescent moon in the style of Van Gogh. So Van Gogh was very famous for his crescent moon. And to do that, you can start off with a big left capital C in the corner of your page, big capital C. And then you can go in, making a little point and create another C to create your crescent moon, okay? So our spooky haunted house, I'm going to show you a simple haunted house, but as I say, you can look at the PowerPoint to create your own. So first of all, I'm going to start off with two diagonal lines on the top of my hill and turn that into a square on top, okay? Then I'm going to create a little hat on top of that square to create the roof. So a horizontal line and two diagonal lines to come at the top, at the side to give it a little hat. Then I'm going to create the top floor of my haunted house. Again, two diagonal lines with a hat on to create the top floor. And I think we'll have a rickety, loft on the top. So again, square and diagonal lines for the hat. Okay, you might want to add some windows in there. So to do that, I'm just going to draw four little squares next to each other, leaving a little gap in between. And the same on top. So one square, two squares, three, and four. Okay, now Van Gogh's stars he created in his Starry Night were not your typical stars, they started off as circles. So you can create some circles and I'll show you how to add that glow with our oil pastels in a moment. Okay, so once you've finished your haunted house scene and you've added some detail into the house, we're going to start to add some colour on like Van Gogh. So to do that I'm using oil pastels. Oil pastels are a bit like wax crayons, but they're a lot softer. So you get a really nice colour 
you don't have to press too hard. And what I'm going to do to work like Van Gogh, I'm going to add colour into my crescent moon. So I'm trying to cover all the white areas. Now with oil pastels, if you'd like to add different colours and blend them together, you have to use oil pastels themselves to blend them. So I could take an orange on top to do an outline and then blend it together with the yellow. So Van Gogh was famous for creating bold brush strokes in his work. So to show that in our work today, what we're going to do is use the oil pastels. You might even use your colour pencils in this way, but he used little dashes to go all around his crescent moon. And again, you might want to overlap different colours on there. He used lots of bright bow colours to show that his moon was illuminous. So I'm going to put a little bit of orange in there and maybe a little bit of light orange. And you can do the same technique all the way around your stars as well. Like we've got one here. So I've added different colours of oil pastels all the way around the stars to make them look like they're glowing and I've given my spooky haunted house an outline with the oil pastels and lots of dashes at the bottom here for my landscape. Okay, now here's the magic part. So, to add colour into the background, I'm going to use watercolour paints. So for these, you need to add a little bit of water to wake them up. And if you count up to 10, you should have enough paint to water on your brush. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can see here you've got a few little bubbles, that means you've got enough paint to water. Now here's the magic part. Because the oil pastels do not like the water in the water paint, when I add colour over the top, So all the colour you've done on the oil pastels will show through. If you find it doesn't, just give it a little bit more water on top. And I'm going to do that all over my seam. And then I'm going to take it into my haunted house as well. So you've noticed I've added a little bit of yellow oil pastel into the windows of my haunted house. And the same effect again, if I run over it with watercolours, the yellow will still show through. This is a really nice technique to use with white oil pastels too. And my last part I'm going to use is for my landscape. I think I've got a little bit of green in there. So again, count up to 10 to make sure I've got enough paint on my brush and enough water. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And when I run it over the oil pastels, they'll still show through. And there you have it, your own spooky Halloween scene inspired by Vincent van Gogh. I really look forward to seeing all your examples. Hopefully you can post some on the page. Take care.